everybody, Lynn here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have my November Graphics Fairy Design Team Junk Journal to show you. This time I've done a nature themed journal. It's traveler's notebook size with three signatures and I believe it's 176 pages front and back, um, give or take. And here on the spine we've got a little bit of crocheted lace peeking out. I've done sewing and left all the tails. On the spine, I have attached a chain dangle with a bird charm, beautiful glass bead there, and a feather charm that has an Emily Dickinson quote, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul, which is one of my favorite poems. And this is removable if you don't want that or if it gets in your way. On the cover, we have a book plate with some tea dyed paper inside. I haven't written anything in, thought I would leave that up to whoever. Uh, receive the journal. A tea dyed seam binding closure. A couple of little distressed and rusted eyelets there. And this fabric, it's soft cover. It's rigid, but it is soft cover. This fabric is gorgeous. So, in keeping with this um, fabric, I have gone with a neutral color seam throughout the journal in uh, blacks and browns and ivories. And so looking through the Graphics Fairy website, I found so many nature-related images that were perfect um, for this color scheme. Starting with my end papers, the front and the back, from the Antique Title Pages bundle. And I think they're gorgeous. Here we have a little specimen with one of the fern gift tags and a label also from the Graphics Fairy. And that's inside a little vintage glassine envelope. Here is one of the a bird book plates, a little bulb pin with a black bead here. And I left this chain long. If you had your own charms you might want to add to it or if you didn't like there's just a few charms inside the journal on bulb pins that are removable. If you didn't want them in the journal you could easily move them over to the chain on the spine. Everything is tea dyed. A bird book. I've done some rubber stamping throughout. Insect book pages. This is from that book that I have. Um, I really like is uh, Wildflowers in Winter. Done a bit of sewing with uh, different stitches. This is also um, from the Graphics Fairy, and I printed them onto the tea dyed paper, and just beautiful. Audubon book page. This is some tea dyed tracing paper. I think this is my favorite page in the whole journal. And here, these are from the Bohemian Butterflies bundle, and I chose the butterflies that were in keeping with my color scheme. Just. Beautiful. Lots of journaling space in this journal. Music paper. Here I've done a couple of punches uh, from the tea dyed tracing paper. More stamping. Other side of the insect page. There's a flip out with a, another uh, stamp of a bird's nest. This guy is also from the Graphics Fairy and he is gorgeous. More stamping. We've got some black dyed seam binding and a bulb pin with a feather charm from that Audubon book. A page from the Secret Garden. Here is a little owl rubber stamp and a pocket. These, I believe, are the Fairy Trees bundle. And a poem from the script, one of the script bundles. And those script bundles are amazing on the website. And some extra journaling space on the back of that. A nature. Book. Some more sewing. Another pocket with a journaling card. 
a, another page from that insect book of the ghost moth. Beautiful. Another one of the bird book plates. And I like these with the little, uh, you could write the date or if you've traveled somewhere, the place that you're journaling about. Here I've created a floating pocket with, this is um, from the Woodland Walks bundle, a like a dragonfly lace, and I've printed it, folded it over, sewed around the edges, and created a pocket, and that's a digital stamp there, and there's nothing in here, it's just extra journaling. Sealed with a little piece of washi. And that just clips right in here, a little button attached to the clip. Another pocket with some journaling space. This is held together with the safety pin. Another fern tag, and this has a tab, a fabric tab, the same fabric that's on the cover. A squirrel stamp, another page from the Audubon book, another specimen, some uh, more butterflies punched out, here's a butterfly charm on a bulb pin there, some Tim Holtz paper, and this stitch I love, it reminds me of little, I don't know if it'll show up, but little bird footprints. A little trail of them around the page. More nature from a nature journal book. This is a page from my uh, botanical book I have. It's from 1892. Another little specimen. And here I've punched out a butterfly, so whatever you put into the pocket, you can see through there. And a journaling tag. Here's another of the fern tags with the fabric tab and another bird book plate that I didn't attach. I thought you could put it wherever you'd like. A poetry page, art page, my mockingbird stamp, and this is a page, um, I've used a couple of these in other journals, uh, Nature forest book that I had when I was growing up. And again, the neutral color tones. And lots of journaling space on these pages as well. So I really like those. Nice grungy tea dyed pages. This is from the owl tags and I backed it onto tea dyed vellum. And again, when you a little leaf punch out, so whatever you stick in the pocket will show through. And another fern tag. And last but not least, another specimen. Here are some more little birdie footprints. And another floating pocket. This is images from the graphics fairy. And these are the from the fern tags. I just punched circles out to make a little tab. This is a photograph I took years ago. Printed that out. And that just slips in there. And so that is the journal. And along with the journal, I have created a cloth envelope from a vintage doily. Here we've got a vintage leaf pin that would hold it closed. And inside, we have a tiny glassine envelope tea dyed with one of my rusted paper clips. Inside there, just some goodies. The, the butterfly punches, a rose bead, a dragonfly, and a bird. Um, just things you could add to the journal if you like. Here is a collaged journaling tag. And that's uh, the bird from my inside cover. 
A little bit of lace. This is one of the ATC backgrounds from the Graphics Fairy label. Here's a little mini journal. This is also, this is one of my favorite bundles on the Graphics Fairy, this butterfly tags. And just some scraps into a little, little journal there. A flash card with some seam binding on the edge. A little journaling tag with a snippet of fern. And I thought you could lift that up, write something underneath, and kind of hide it under there. This is from a vintage wildflower book, her first lesson in botany. And I just thought that was perfect for this. A journaling card, a vintage postcard, a couple of pages from a bird book, another one of the owl tags that backed onto the tea dyed vellum. And here is a another, this is a letter printed from one of the script bundles to Mary. And I have stamped, oh, actually I'll turn it on here so you can see it, stamped onto the tea dyed tracing paper and tucked that inside. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And I will see you again next month. Thanks again, guys.